Hi all, welcome to my channel. So in today's interview series, we are going to discuss one very, very important interview question that is group asset. So the question is, what is group asset, right? Then the answer should be, in asset accounting, the calculation and posting of depreciation generally takes place at the level of the individual asset. The system calculates and posts the depreciation in each individual main asset and a sub asset. That means if you remember, right, in AFAB transaction code, we calculate the depreciation. So at that time, we have one parameter, selection parameter from asset number and to asset number. So we enter the asset number range for which the depreciation is to be calculated. So there the system calculates the depreciation on all the individual assets of the number range, right? But sometimes, right, for the reporting purpose, we have to calculate the depreciation at the group level. Say, for example, if you take Indian Income Tax Act, you have to report on the depreciation values and acquisition values at the asset block level. So the asset block is called group asset in SAP, right? See, the concept of group asset is used to meet the certain tax reporting requirements. That what is the requirement? the depreciation must take place at the higher level than the individual asset. So, for example, all assets of a class and an acquisition here. So, for the purpose of group assets, we have to define the special depreciation area. And we cannot use the normal depreciation areas on the group assets. And we can assign any number of individual assets to one group asset. We have to maintain a separate master record for group asset. So, for the interview purpose, you have to say this answer, that's it, right? But what is the configuration you require? For that, I'm going to show you now, right? See, this configuration, if they do not ask you, right, you need not explain the configuration. If they ask you what exactly is the group asset, you have to say this answer only, right? Of course, if you want, you can summarize this answer also, right? So, for every group asset, we have to create a separate class. And also, we have to create a separate depreciation area. And for that depreciation area also, we have to specify that this depreciation area is only for group assets. So what is that configuration we require? See, the group asset only manages depreciation area that are flagged with the corresponding indicator in the specifications for the company code. Path is, right? See, customizing different depreciation area group assets. The activity is define depreciation areas for group assets. So we have to define the depreciation areas for group assets. That means what are the depreciation areas you can use for the group assets? Those depreciation areas you have to define, right? And this I have given the path also, right? So let us log in. First, you have to specify, right? the depreciation areas for group assets. So what are the depreciation areas you want to use for the group assets? Path, SPRO. Financial accounting, of course, financial accounting. Or you can go for financial accounting. Asset accounting. Then valuation. Then group assets. Then specify the depreciation areas for the group assets. Now, click on position, give your company code, SSMN. Select your company code, SSMN. Double click on group assets. See, if you remember, in our chart of depreciation, these are the depreciation areas we have defined for the chart of depreciation assigned to the company code SSMN, right? So out of these depreciation areas, which depreciation area you want to use for the group assets? For that depreciation area, you have to select the group asset. For example, we have, we have to report asset block wise, right? As per the Indian Income Tax Act, we have to <clears throat> report on the fixed assets asset block wise. What is the depreciation calculated? What is the accumulated depreciation? What is the gross block value? So all this information is to be reported, right? That means the depreciation area is what? Special tax depreciation for APs in the financial statement, right? So for this depreciation area, you have to select a group asset. So 
this depreciation area right is activated for this group asset you can assume in that way okay then the group assets have to be assigned to asset class so we have to create a separate asset class right for the group assets also after creating the asset class you have to activate one indicator for the group asset class so the group assets have to be assigned to an asset class just as normal assets do you use the indicator in the asset class to specify that the class can be used only for the group assets so first you create your respect to group asset classes see there is no any separate transaction code to create the group asset classes we create the group asset classes also in oa oa only and you create normal asset classes also in oa oa only right so after creating the asset classes for the group assets in the transaction code oa oa you have to go to this path and you have to select the indicator for the group asset class so specify the asset class for the group assets same path spro financial accounting asset accounting valuation group assets specify asset classes for group assets suppose we have created one asset class plant and machinery ssmnp right so that ssmnp asset class is to be used only for the group assets right in that case click on position asset class ssmnp click on enter see this class should be used only for the group assets so class consists entirely of the group assets so technically speaking you have to create another asset class for the group assets right for that asset class only you have to select right this indicator but just like that how to sell how to activate this indicator for the group asset classes i am showing you clear then see after creating the group assets right we have to assign the group asset number in every asset master record remember we can assign any number of individual assets to one group asset so in every individual asset master record you have to specify the group asset number after creating the group asset number see we specify the assignment of an asset to the group asset specifically for depreciation area for this purpose there is a special field in the asset master record we enter the group asset number in this field once this is made the system calculates and posts the depreciation for this depreciation area only at the level of the group asset in this way you can also assign one asset to different group assets in different depreciation areas see this field we have to select one field the group asset right at the asset sub number level so that in every asset master record the group asset field becomes mandatory field and that setting is done in ao21 transaction code in ao21 right you define the screen load for a depreciation area right so in ao21 right go to the transaction code ao21 see in the transaction code oa yz right you activate the depreciation areas according to your requirement for your company code right then for each depreciation area you assign the screen load to 2000 right now you select the 2000 screen load rule double click on field group rules now here select group asset as required entry select group asset as required entry so in every depreciation area right for which you have given the screen load 2000 in every asset master record on which this depreciation area is activated right compulsory you assign the group asset number right then click on save now you have to create the group asset master record so the group asset master record is created as in the case of normal asset master record but the transaction code set is different so the main asset master record is created in the transaction code as01 right but the group asset master record is created right in the transaction code as21 or the path accounting financial accounting 
fixed assets asset create group asset so here you create the you enter the asset class for which the group asset indicator has been selected right and you enter the company code and you go on creating the asset master record uh, group asset master record you will go on creating the group asset master record as you create the normal asset master record in as01 right so in the as01 when you create the individual asset master record right the system will ask you to enter the group asset number so here you create the group asset number no that group asset number you enter in the master record this is the configuration for your group asset so this configuration i'm explaining you only for your benefit right you need not explain all this configuration in the interviews so if they ask you what is the group asset right you can summarize this and you can tell the your answer otherwise you can tell the entire answer as you wish right okay then so see you tomorrow right again with another entry question right and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel share it like it and hit the bell icon please right this is inspiration to me to come up with many more entry questions thank you